I'm Donnie Lumpkin with uh, Church on the Rock, Freedom Director of Freedom Farms. This is my wife, Amy Lumpkin, and she's also Director of Freedom Farms. And um, our ministry is here in Phoenix City, Alabama, and we want to see the Kingdom of God go forth here. A little over four years ago, the Lord called us into pastoring the church, and God opened doors, and just some amazing things have happened. We're on our second building. We baptized over 250 people, and the Lord's just been moving there. But a couple of years ago, uh, God started working something in our heart and um, a piece of property opened up right next to where we lived and we started talking about farming and how we could help kids. In conversation one day a mutual friend of ours and that's linked with Big Oak Ranch um, said we know a ministry that we you need to get in uh, we need to get you in contact with and made some phone calls and this Aaron from Big Oak Ranch uh, we went there and met with them. The moment that I went to the property there I um, I realized that something that they were connected and it was a connection not just between people it was a connection to the kingdom um, that connection for us has been vital to what we're doing and if we need something I can pick up the telephone and say we're doing this uh, uh, this application for DHR and I don't know how to answer this question we're doing Whatever I need, Erin's always been, I'll pick up the telephone to call her and she's always been right there. To, I mean, not just, okay, put me off until next week. It's right there immediately. Yes, I have that, I'm giving it to you. Like she is so accessible and so, um, I mean, it's her passion. She cares that we succeed and that's, that's a big deal to us. You know, we couldn't do what we do without them or we could, but it would be so difficult. Just a blessing, a huge blessing to be, you know, a part of Planting Oaks. So for us, it, the heartbeat all kind of thrives through this church. Um, and so the church is kind of our hub. The Lord opened up for us to have a school. That school's prospered. It's, there's almost 100 kids in it. And we're going to draw from that school. That school's so uh, vital to what Freedom Farms is going to do. We're almost um, at 50% of the school are kids in crisis. Our overarching vision is called 21 to 21. We take students from 21 days old. We keep them at Pebbles at the Rock Early Learning Center. They transition into the Rock Academy throughout their years. If they are in crisis, our Freedom Farm team matches them with a mentor at Freedom Farm. So if they need help after graduation, we can pour into them and keep them until they're 21 at Freedom Farm. So that will be a place when they age out or a foster care or after graduation if they don't have know what they're going to do with their life we can still continue to mentor them until they're 21 years old. We believe that through the church, through the farm, through the school, through the learning center that um, that God's going to show what community and what family looks like, what this was created to be. We are now building homes and, and purchasing property and and I just I attribute all that to being connected in ministry with community, with like-minded individuals like Big Oak that believe in what they're doing, they believe in what God said, they believe in what we're doing, and we're in a community that I believe it would be very hard to do without, without that connection. Since then, they've given us so much information, so much leadership, so much guidance. When I left Big Oak that day and met Mr. Kroll and Aaron and the team, I, I, um, I was overwhelmed by the size and the unity there, the spirit there, you know, all the buildings and all the things that was being done there. And I, and I was on the way home and I just felt overwhelmed and thought that, you know, I'd love to see that happen. I'd love to, you know, I think that's amazing, but I don't see that we could ever do that. So we went a mile down the road and Amy said, hey, did you see that sign? And there was a sign there that said Foster Crossroads. In that moment, that feeling that I felt when Mr. Cole was speaking in that room, was the feeling that I had when I seen that sign. I knew that that the same calling that had been placed on his life was was going to be done in this town. And that the same God that did that at Big Oak is the same God that's going to be here. For me, that's took us through all the challenges, the tough spots, the fear, the not knowing, all those things. And so, um, and so we're going to start this first house knowing that, that the sky's the limit and kids' lives will be changed, the whole destiny of their life to be changed. You know, to think about, you know, them saying three and a half million kids, and it's probably more than that, but three and a half million kids are in need of intervention. Why would we even want to keep it small? God wants us to be the hands and feet of Jesus, you know? 